welcome back to the music room. I'm Mrs. Patterson, and today we're going to be talking about boom whackers. So last week we looked at the xylophone, and we noticed, or hope you noticed, that the longer the bar was on the xylophone, the lower the sound it made. So the boom whackers follow the same procedure. Oh my goodness, that one's so long it's out of my camera shot. So we have a super, super long one here. Can you see that if I hold it that way? So that is our lowest note. That's low note C or Do. Well, what if I go up an octave to the next C? It's about half as long, isn't it? That's because it's an octave higher. The shorter our tubes get, the higher our pitch gets. Oh, what about this little baby boom whacker? It's about half as long as the other one. So we keep growing by halves until we get all the way to the end. So it would take two of these, these little ones, to make one of those. It takes two of these shorter ones to make our big long one. How many little bitty ones but I have to have to equal this one. One, two, three, you like my precise measuring? Four, so it would take four of these to equal one of these big ones. So let's hear what they sound like. This is our lowest one. This is our middle one. over here is our baby one. Kind of like baby bear, mama bear, papa bear. The funny thing about these is when I ask students, are they the same size? Students always say, no, they're not the same size. They're different lengths. That's true, but they are the same diameter. Can you see how the diameter is the same? They're the same all the way around. So across, they're the same size. The circumference, the distance around, that's the same. So they're really just, you know, made from the same tube, just cut different lengths. Well, what about these guys? They're different colors. So we have red, that's C. We have D, E. Can you see that? E. F. G, A, B, C, and we're back at the beginning. So when we get to G, we start over, you notice when I got to G, my next one was A. I did not have H, there is no H in music. I hope you all know that. So I'm gonna play you a little song. We have a whole scale here. I can play these either by bouncing them on their little end caps, or by whacking them on the floor. It's pretty loud, isn't it? So let's hear a scale. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Our ear likes that. We like to hear that scale. That is a one octave scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because octave is eight. So let's see, can we play a song out of here. Let me see if I can play something that you know. If you said the ABC song, you are right. They're the same melody, different words, but the same melody. So I have linked a little video for you to watch. If you will click on the boom whackers on the floor in my classroom, it will link you to 
a boom whacker song that I think you're going to recognize and think you're going to like it. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you next week for another exciting edition of Mrs. Patterson's Music Room. Bye. See you later. Love you guys.